you say that about China. Mm. You know? and I've been trying to get the China for a long time to do a videotape. The Chinese don't seem to be, <laughs> they seem real wary about people coming, you know? especially with cameras. But uh, what, are you going to, are you really going to do that? Are you really going to go? Sure. But you said you didn't get a, you hadn't gotten a, a visa yet. Oh, you have to have the idea first? Of course. Or still let you, they don't want you to... I don't think they, they can them. avoid it. That they what? I don't think they can avoid it. I don't think they want to. <laughs> but you must know, have you ever read about their, you know, like about Beethoven and all those debates they've been having over there? About Beethoven? Well, sure, Beethoven was a big debate in China for a number of years uh, because of what his music represented. You know, and they, I wonder how they like Cage. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a real good Because I know that, I, you know, like whatever is happening, I'm, I'm slipping in on the underside. But it's uh, worth the chance. Sure. sure. So why do you think people don't talk about your work when they talk to you? I don't know. <laughs> Cough, cough. <laughs> Funny you ask that. Uh, I had a press conference in San Francisco. And it went on for like four hours. And there were like at least 50 people there. And during some part, during the third hour, I said, have you all noticed that you haven't mentioned the work? Yeah. What did they say? They didn't say anything again. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does that, you know, that must, that must turn you off, and that must make you feel, uh, you know, like they're... That, 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 you know what that does? It makes me an accessory only to the crime. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have uh, any... Uh, My wife used to paint me. Did you My ex-wife. Your ex-wife? Yeah. Have you been... How many times have you been married? Just once. You, so she was a painter? I didn't mean to say it that way, yes. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> she was a painter? Yes. That's Is. Great. Is a painter still? Yes. Yeah. What's her name? Susan Weil. How, how did that work? <laughs> Living, I mean, like that, with someone who was... Who was Perfectly, working. until it didn't. Yeah. Enough said. What's the, what's the one thing that's made you the happiest, do you think, in your whole life? Oh, Lord. The best thing of any day, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure that, uh, that, like, That they, um, being happy is a, probably a, a deadening factor to our sensibilities. But I do think there's, there's an exaggeration of misery. I'm not sure if exaggeration of misery? Yeah. Comes well, just look at the six o'clock news. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, happy people are bores. Yeah, well, that's really, you really go both ways. It's really interesting. I have to. I'm naturally schizophrenic. Yeah. And I'm Libra, <laughs> which also splits me. So you go back, Libra's the scales, right? Yeah. So you go back and forth, you mean? Uh, I can 
I think that I could successfully argue any point. Uh, one of those guys. Yeah. I didn't mean to be one. I didn't choose the month. But I'm on the cusp also of Scorpio, so that's probably um, all the things that uh, Scorpios want. It's like feeds back. It's like uh, extreme high tide on my Libra. Mm. Scorpios are very intense people. Yeah. Very intense. Have you always been this way?